got a lot of pallets. Right, well with all this virus stuff going on, I think it is time to build a vegetable garden. Proper one. Dot's gonna look after it for the most part. I've been tasked with building it. And uh, the goal is to not spend a penny on it. So, pallets here. I've got piles of old nails that I didn't pay a penny for. And we were gonna make pallet wood uh, veg boxes and uh, make a vegetable garden. All right, let's make a box. Right, yeah, pretty basic uh, raised be beds. You know, it's not the finest work. Not bothered about that. Just uh, as long as they grow food, I don't care. Um, only doing this because the soil is rubbish, and I need a nice deep load of soil for you know root vegetables and stuff. And we've only got about six inches of soil or so, so I've got to do something that raises up the. Uh, the level of the soil so raised beds are a good option because I've got lots of organic matter that I can fill them with um, yeah so we'll do it like that so this is uh, 1200 millimeters or four feet by 1500 millimeters or five feet so five by four for the Americans uh, 1.2 by 1.5 for Europeans. Um, I'm going to make quite a few of these. Should be able to grow quite a bit of food. My thinking being that the world food supply is probably going to be probably short with everything that's going on. Even if it's not too bad, you know, we're probably still going to get short on food because people aren't at work. Um, and so I thought, well, I have the ability to grow my own food here, so I should be doing that, really. So, uh, so that's why I'm making the effort now. Sorry about the wind, it's becoming a pretty popular saying of mine that, sorry about the wind, but yeah, it's been windy recently. So yeah, I got those uh, those six boxes made today, i start filling them up tomorrow. I, when I uh, cleared the area for the house, which is uh, just behind me here, I um, put all the wood here to the side. I was going to use it as firewood, but it got left there for a while, it started rotting. But this is going to be great. I'm going to fill my beds. The whole base of the beds is going to be all this stuff because um, this is mostly rotted and it's going to be high carbon, high nitrogen at this point because it's rotted. It's had the leaves fall on it and uh, we'll put the toilet waste as well and we're going to end up with some nice raised soil. Yeah, a lot of this in here is, is falling apart. Look. I mean, look at that. That is going to make excellent soil. So, yeah, a lot of people might ask why don't I do like no dig beds? Um, they're good. Uh, the reason is is because there's really not that much point because there really isn't any soil there at all. Uh, it's just, uh, we won't put that in because that's sweet chestnut and that won't rot for a long time. But yeah, there's just like six inches maybe of very, very poor clay soil. So if I put a small layer of compost on top of that like no dig method you know it's uh i'm not gonna have much soil there i couldn't grow a carrot in it or anything like that yeah you know, it's just not much there that's a bit of chestnut again see the bits of chestnut are still solid not rotten at all oh it's all falling apart it's gonna be great with this and all the uh, high nitrogen stuff in the compost toilet we're gonna have plenty of uh, organic matter look at that excellent Morning everyone, so yesterday I got these filled up, they're uh, layered with the wood we harvested from behind the house 
um, when we cleared the house and then uh, straw, uh, compost from the compost toilet and then uh, compost from another compost heap by the chickens and then a little layer of um, fine bought compost that I put bought just for the top um, just for a nice surface to plant in because everything else is a bit sort of uh, it's, 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 it's fine it's just uh, not nice to plant in really it's not uh, nice and fine you know um, so yeah what came out of the toilet was all composted and there was no 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 trace of it being a toilet anymore because it's a good few years old in there uh, so yeah I'm pleased today the plan is to build a cold frame I've got some pallets in the van here locked got some pallets in there anyway they're in there and some glass and we build some cold frames also the uh, chickens are doing well these are the chicks I hatched so they're doing quite well they're happy they get moved around in their little chicken tractor so that's all good. and I've got another load of eggs in the incubator for some reason it's uh, not reading the uh, humidity right because it's definitely more humid than that in there so I need to sort that out yeah, got a load of eggs in there, so we'll hatch some more food, food prepping on the homestead. Come on ladies, come help me over here. Hey. Come on. Hey. Well that didn't work, did it? <laughs> they used to come to me. I used to be top dog cockerel. But now they got their man. They don't listen to me anymore. <laughs> um, right. Veg patch is coming on well. Just built, built this frame. I just took a few clips of it. Battery's running low. Yeah, just uh, putting some hinges on these doors. Can you see that? Oh, such a bright, lovely day. Yeah, just putting them on them. And then we'll clad it. It's all pallet wood, completely free. Yeah, it's good. Lovely day. Got my helpers, little chickens, and the cats about somewhere. Lovely. Very nice. This is completely from skip find. There's nothing in it that I've bought wood wires or anything, it's just, just a few screws. There you go, let's cut those off in the back. Ah, oh, slowly clad in the back. Let's say it's all pallet wood, couldn't be bothered to denail it. I might get a dot to pull the nails off, just break them off or whatever. Chickens are helping out, which is nice. Yeah, getting bitten by midges though. Yeah, gonna carry on for a bit longer. Hi, right, this is coming along well. Just because uh, things take so much longer when you're uh, doing it out of found and recycled materials, like I basically always am. Yes, yeah, so this is taking me most of the day doing this because you got to break down pallets and figure out what length. But you can't really come up with a design and and then try and build it. You've got to use certain lengths and stuff. The, the materials sort of dictate you know what the design's going to be that's why i've got this quite big overhang here just because didn't have long enough bits and so on but you know you get there and then it just takes a while but this is uh, looking nice i'm just going to fill this in this bit here i've put this this is a window here don't know if you see that on camera just another bit of glass i had so just put as much glass in it as i can just a little mini mini greenhouse really we'll build a proper greenhouse one day but you know, it's just time is the problem. Always. Yeah, with all of the uncertainties currently, I'm, I'm moving a lot of my uh, energy towards food production. Still going to do the workshop and everything. But going to focus quite a bit on food production at the same time. Hey, beautiful tiger. Is it dinner time? 
Oh, look how beautiful you are. You've got a lot of fans, girl. I know, dinner time, isn't it? Poor baby, come on. Show me dinner, come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. She's a bit scared of the cockerel. Because he's massive. The size of him. He's bigger than you, isn't he? <laughs> See? <laughs> come on, go. Oh, oh, tread lightly around the chickens. Come on, let's get you some dinner. I'll follow you. Oh, you're going the shortcut, are you? Come on, they go the shortcut then. You're going the shortcut? Across the stream, is it? You're not coming? I thought it was dinner time. What a lovely day. Come on. Let's go. Right. It's a new day, lovely weather again. I've uh, added these little uh, hinged supports that hold the glass open. This is sheet glass, it's quite dangerous stuff really, so I wanted a nice strong support on both edges so that the glass doesn't, you know, twist as you open it um, with the weight of it. So it should be pretty safe. We don't want dot getting a uh, Bit of glass falling on my head, especially in times like these. So we're just clad in this side. And then uh, we'll be done, basically. Okay, now we just uh, draw all these off. Okay, so that's our cold frame done. Nice and big, we've got these nice uh, hinges that hold it open so I'm going to keep making beds as well but I just run out of compost at the minute so that is going to be our uh, our first little veg garden started over there years ago but I just ran out of time it wasn't a priority now it is so uh, we'll get some stuff planted out soon all right that's going to be the end of the video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching sorry it was just about to end the video and I thought oh she's going to want some shelves in there so I just cut a pallet up you can see that the, the supports of the pallet so just cut the pallet into three and uh, use them as shelves and then put one pallet in the bottom so put trays and stuff on there the other side just leave as it is to put pots on yeah it's looking good please so yeah move on to something else now right hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching